Good morning. Now, just a quick look at Sun Blesser head torch. Now, I was sent this for review. I'll be quite open about that. Um, so I haven't paid for it, but I was just asked my opinion. And I've had it two or three weeks now. Um, I'm not someone that likes to review something straight out the box. I like to give it a good, good test. I've had this on two or three camps now and used it, you know, for the whole weekend. And overall, very happy. Now, I'm not going to go massively into detail. I will link the website below where you can look up all the specs and so on. So this is just a quick review and my thoughts about it. First off, the little case it comes in. Nice hardened case. Although there is a lockout system to stop you turning it on accidentally in your pocket or in your rucksack. The fact that it's in this hardened case, double protection. You're not gonna be able to turn it on no matter how much you squash it, sit on it or whatever. So I think that is a, a great idea. In here, there's just the head torch, charging cable, and a little instruction leaflet. The unit itself, very simple. You've got your charging port underneath and a double-sided switch on the top. It is waterproof, so no issues using it in the rain. The double switch is because of the two light sources. This one being your main light, I suppose you'd say, the normal white light on you know several different power levels, and you you know you just click it, power on, and then you can click it to turn up. The other thing I, I do like with the function of both buttons, if you've used it on a certain setting, switched it off, when you switch it back on, it comes back where you left it. You don't have to cycle through them, which is always good news. But for me, I like that anyway. The smaller sort of conventional LED light, this one's just two color. Um, you've got white and you've got red. But there is a, another model up from this which gives you green as well. Uh, green light's cool. Do you need it? Not necessarily. It's a personal preference type thing. I'm fine with just the red light. On the, the little one there, they are red light, the last thing I used. White light, whiter light, brighter, red. Again, if you switch it off and leave it for any length of time, it comes back to where you left it. I find I'm not using the main bright light that much. It's great for walking and that sort of thing. It gives it a, you know, a decent output for the size of what you've got here. Uh, but for normal camp duties, it's not really necessary. The smaller one here gives out enough white light perfectly for around camp to see what you're doing. And the red light is also very good. It's quite bright. It's brighter than most of the red lights I've used. And it lights up a good sort of five to six feet in front of you, reasonably wide. It's enough to do most things if you want to be a little bit more covert, shall we say. So very good red light. Next to nothing in weight. The strap, loads of adjustment, and it's comfortable. All in all, a really good package. Uh, when I looked it up on Amazon, I think it was, it was about £17. I think it goes up to about £20 if you get the one with the green light added to it. So for sub £20, this really takes a little bit of beating. It's certainly the best thing I've used within that price bracket. Very impressed. As I said, any you know in-depth spec, I'll stick in the description in the link below. But all in all, I really like it. Certainly performance is fine. Battery life is fine. I've never really looked up the proper specs for it. All I can say is, full charge, go out, it'll do me the weekend. That's all I need. Um, more than enough. Very impressed. 